moved back to Philly, and um, it's a lot of pressure because it only takes usually a few days for me to make a fool of myself. Um, and so I'm probably going to do that pretty quickly here in Philly, maybe even tonight. Um, and then I have to go looking for a new place. And so I, was, I, um, I got a job once at uh, American Express, like the, the company in, uh, in New York that some of you guys have credit cards with. And I was like, they're going to take me seriously. I'm not going to be a buffoon. It was a summer job. And I'm like, I am going to spend two whole months not being a buffoon. And so there I am with my boss. I say, I had to sign a bunch of like, HR documents and I went to meet with them. And uh, after we met, um, I was like, you know, we, I'm sorry, this is, a, this is about PP and do do again. Um, but anyway, after we, um, we had our meeting, he's like, let me introduce you to some people. I, I hate like, doing, having to do something serious when I have to pee. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go into the bathroom. I'm, so I'm like, I'm just going to excuse myself to the men's room. So he's like, oh, that's cool. I have to use the men's room too. Well, the thing I hate more than doing something serious when I have to pee is peeing next to my boss. <laughs> Everybody hates that, right? So I'm like, that's cool, that's cool. I'll just use the stall. I'll just use the stall. So I excuse myself to the stall, and I take those HR papers. And it's got all my you know, social security number. It's like, if you want to steal my identity, like, come into that stall with me, and my identity is yours. So anyway, there I am in the stall. Um, and I come out of the stall, and I'm like, this guy is going to take me seriously. He didn't even have to pee next to me. I have such a fresh start with him. Well, anyway, all of a sudden, we're out there. He's about, my new boss is about to take me out to meet all my colleagues. And all of a sudden, I say, the HR files. They're in the stall. So that, my friends, was the hard place. The stall. Because when I went back into the men's room, someone was in. So, then I had to decide between staying in the men's room, which was kind of weird if I just went back to get some papers, or coming out to talk to The Rock, who was my new boss. And so, I decided to come outside and stand there next to The Rock, waiting for the hard place to empty out. And so the problem is, when you're standing outside of the bathroom and you're waiting for the hard place to empty out, you can't read the faces of the people and say, are you a stall guy or a urinal guy? You just, you just can't tell. And so I kind of stood there and continued to humiliate myself and become a buffoon stuck between a rock and a hard place. Thank you. Anyways, I was 17 years old, I was like 130 pounds, I had an afro, I was at a cake party in the woods in Boston, and I was filling up my cup and this guy came up to me and he started talking shit to me, and I never got into a fight before, and this guy was known for like getting into two fights a week, and he started, he started talking shit to me, and I just looked at him like, what are you talking about, and he started laughing. So then I went up to my friends and I started talking to my friends, and he Imagine this, I'm just like a little kid. So I'm talking to my friends and they're like, this guy just flicked a cigarette at your head. So I tried to blow it off because I was scared. I've never been in a fight. You don't understand. I was trembling, like right, right now. So I was like, oh no, whatever. They're like, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? So I was like, okay, I'm going to get into a fight. Okay, well, what's the procedure? I, I, I come with you. And I'm like, did he just flick a cigarette at my head? He said, no. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I threw the beer in his face, and he says, as soon as I get the beer out of my eyes, I'm going to tackle you. And I just stood there. And I'm like, what do I do now? Are you going to tackle me? So I was like, in, in movies, what I saw is, people push each other before they get into a fight. So I pushed him. I didn't know my own strength. So he flew back six feet, he hit a tree. So I picked him up from the tree, and I threw him down again, but accidentally, this was in the woods, into the fire. And I, I look and I'm like, I have to save this man. I went, I went to saving mode. So I picked him up from the fire, I threw him back down, but then I went back into fight mode. And I put my hand on his neck, I put my fist back, and in Mortal Kombat style, I said, do you want to die? <laughs> boom! 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 So I'm like for like 30 times and I inside my head, 
I was wondering, is someone gonna pull me off of him or something? Like, <laughs> doesn't this happen in the movies? And finally they pulled me off of him, and that's where it ended. <laughs>